once upon a time in a land far, far away. How do you like this start? Hi, this is Mato. In this video I will show you a game between Alexander Lehin and Richard Retty. This game was played in Vienna in 1922. Alexander Lehin had white pieces and he started with e4. Richard Retty played e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to b5, Spanish opening, a6, bishop to a4, knight to f6, knight to c3, b5, bishop to b3, bishop to c5. White to move. Castling kingside, d3, are the two most played moves nowadays. Alekhin played knight takes pawn on e5. Knight takes knight, d4, bishop to d6, d takes on e5, bishop takes pawn on e5, f4. Alekhin was first to play this line. Black to move. Reti played the best move. Bishop takes on c3. If bishop to d6, then e5 is winning for white. So we have bishop takes on c3. Pawn takes bishop. Reti castle kingside. e5. Black to move. Reti played c5. What a move. Very clever move. He is threatening to trap the bishop. Why to move? What is the best move for white in this position? What would you do? If pawn takes knight, then c4, trapping the bishop. f takes on g7, rook to e8, check. King to f1, bye bye, castling, bishop to b7. Black is doing well. What else? If c4 preventing black from playing c4, then black has a very strong move in this position. The move is d5. If pawn takes pawn on Passan, rook to e8 check, king to f1, bishop to g4, and black is much better. And if instead of Pawn takes pawn and passan, castling, bishop to g4, attacking the queen, queen to d2, d takes on c4, black is better again. And one more try, perhaps this is not a bad try, queen to f3, attacking the rook, rook to b8, pawn takes knight, rook to e8, check, king to d1, c4, trapping the bishop, f takes on g7, bishop to b7, attacking the queen. Alehin didn't like his position. So what is the best move then? What would you do? Lehin found bishop to a3. What a move! c4 doesn't work now. If c4 then bishop takes rook, king takes bishop, queen to d6 check, queen to e7, queen takes queen check, king takes queen, queen takes queen check, king takes queen, pawn takes knight check, king takes pawn, Castling queen side and white is better. Richard Retty found another very clever move. Queen to a5, attacking the bishop and the pawn on c3. What now? A bishop to b2, c4. Alehin castled king side. Queen takes bishop. Pawn takes knight. c4, trapping the bishop. This is another critical position. Why to move? What would you do? Please pause the video and find the best move for white. What did you find? If pawn takes pawn on g7, then the queen to c5 check, king to h1, rook to e8, to f5, c takes on b3, and black is much better. But Alekhin played the best move. Queen to d5. Preventing queen to c5 check. Attacking the rook. Threatening queen to g5. 
checkmate after g6 queen to h6 queen to g7 checkmate what a move is there a defense please pause the video and find the best defense for black Richard Reti played the best move. Queen to a5. So what is so special about this move? Well, if queen takes rook now, then queen to b6 check, and after king to h1, bishop to b7 winning the queen. And if white wants to give check mate, then queen to b6 check, king to h1, queen takes on f6. Black is doing really well. Alehin captured the pawn on g7, attacking the rook. Queen to b6 check. King to h1. King takes on g7. White to move. Alehin played the best move again. Bishop takes on c4. Black to move. What is the best move for black now? The best is bishop to b7. If Pawn takes bishop, queen takes rook, and now bishop to b7 doesn't work because of rook from a to b1 attacking the queen. If queen takes rook, queen takes rook on f8 check, king takes queen, rook takes on b1, white is winning. Reti played the best move. Bishop to b7 attacking the queen. Queen to e5 check. Queen to f6. Bishop to d3. Rook from f to e8 attacking the queen. Queen to h5 threatening queen takes on h7. h6. Queen to g4 check. King to h8. Queen takes on d7. Rook to e7 attacking the queen. Queen to d4. And the queens are exchanged. Rook to d8. f5. f6. Rook from a to e1. Rook to g7 attacking the pawn on g2. Bishop to e4. Rook takes on d4. Bishop takes on b7. Rook takes on b7. Rook to e6 forking two pawns. King to g7, rook takes on a6, rook to c4, rook to f3, rook takes on c2, threatening checkmate. h3, king to f7, rook to g3. And we are going to see a long rook and game battle here. Rook to f2, rook to g6, Rook takes on f5. Rook takes on h6, threatening check, winning the rook on b7. King to g7. Rook to h4. b4. Rook to g4, check. King to f7. Rook to g3. Rook from f to b5. Rook to b3. King to g6. King to h2. Rook to c5. Rook to a4. Rook from c to b5. h4. Rook from 5 to b6. King to h3. Rook to b8, g3, f5, rook to a5, rook to c8, rook to f3, rook to f6, king to g2, rook to c3, rook to a8, rook takes rook, king takes rook, rook to c6, rook to b8, rook to c4, rook to b6, check, king to g7, h5, rook to d4, rook to c6, Rook to e4, rook to g6, king to f7, g4. If pawn takes pawn, king takes rook. Rook takes on g4, rook takes on g4, f takes on g4. King takes pawn, is white winning? Black played the move and said Nietzsche. Players shook hands, agreeing to a draw. Possible continuation. King to g5. King to h7, h6, king to h8, king to g6, king to g8, h7, king to h8, 
king 2 h6 b3 a takes on b3 stalemate and if in this position king to f5 king takes pawn king to e5 king to g6 king to d5 king to f6 king to c4 king to e6 king takes pawn king to d6 king to b5 king to c7 king to a6 king to b8 draw and one more continuation what if white king immediately goes to the queen side let's have a look what happens then to h6 king to e4 king takes pawn king to d4 king to g5 king to c4 king to f5 king takes pawn on b4 king to e6 king to b5 king to d7 king to a6 king to c8 king to a7 king to c7 a4 king to c8 a5 king to c7 a6 king to c8 king to a8 king to c7 a7 and if in this position king goes to b6 goes to b8 and after a7 king to a8 draw stalemate what a fight do you think of this game and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now